Hi, this is Trey Pass. Welcome to my Blu-ray update for the week beginning uh, October 22nd, 2017. I just have a few titles here I got from uh, Best Buy, so let me uh, go through these. Okay. The first one I got is a, <laughs> an oldie but a goodie, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is the 25th anniversary edition. Jesus, God, it's been that long since the movie came out. It stars, of course, Christy Swanson. And uh, uh, Luke Perry's in this. I think Paul Rubens as well. And this as well. This is, uh, you know, I think this was written by Josh Green. I know it wasn't directed, but I think Josh Green produced it and, and he wrote it. Of course, he went on to uh, produce the, the TV show that this movie is based on. And uh, it's, it's a fun, it was a funny comedy. It's been a while since I've seen this, so I'll probably be watching this. So, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Like I said, I had a major thing on Christy Swan since he was. Gorgeous back then, and uh, the next movie I got is a movie uh, that's actually a remake, and I saw the original because I was a big Clint Eastwood fan, so I've seen, <coughs> you know, I've seen most of Clint Eastwood movies. So this movie was like a Civil War type f film, and I think Chris, it was Christopher, um, Chris, uh, Clint Eastwood. I'm trying to think who else was in it. I think uh, Sarah. I can't remember who else was in it, you know, the, the women that were in it, but uh, it's basically about the story about a soldier during the uh, Civil War, a Union soldier, he gets wounded and he gets taken in by these Southern women and they care for him and then he goes about seducing them. And so, and so the remake is called The Beguile, and the original is called The Beguile. Cleaning with uh, this stars Colin Farrell as the soldier and Nicole Kidman, Kristen Dunst, and Ellie Fang. That's a good cast. So I saw this, because I, and this is written directly by Sofia Coppola, you know, she can't act, but she can write and direct. <laughs> so, uh, but um, I'm interested very, very much in seeing this movie uh, because, because I saw the original *Cleese*, which I, which I really loved, and I know the way that one ends. So uh, I'm assuming it's probably going to end the same way, or it probably will end the same way. I just want to see the performances because, I, like I said, I love Nicole Kidman, and Kristen Dunst, and Ellie Fanning. You got three really good actresses in this, and Colin Farrell. So definitely uh, look for my review of this pretty soon. Okay. Now, last but not least, is my Spider-Man Homecoming. I got this one. I got to buy the Steelbook. Uh, I got the 3D version because, you know, I want to see the 3D, which I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think I saw when I saw it at the theater. I didn't see the 3D, but I want to see how it looks in 3D, which probably looked cool. And, again, Tom Holland was great as uh, Peter Parker as Spider-Man. He was really, his performance really carried the film. Uh, it was really good, of course. Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark was good in there. Of course, Marissa Tomei as Aunt May. And, of course, Michael Keaton is the bad guy. He was uh, the vulture. He was really good as well in this. So this was a really good movie, Spider-Man Home coming in. Again, Tom Holland really uh, makes a great Peter Parker. Uh, I can't wait to see him in Civil War. Uh, not Civil War. So <laughs> Civil War. Infinity War, excuse me. <laughs> uh, and see how he is in that. Interacting with the rest of the Avengers and stuff again. So I definitely had to get the 3D version of this, and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna order the steelbook, but I wanted to get the 3D version because I you know I want to see this film in 3D. It's, you know I got a 3D TV, so I'm gonna see it in 3D and see how it looks. So there you go. So that's my uh, pickups for this week. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think of uh, these titles. Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. Uh, what was I gonna say? There's something I want to say which I can't remember. I can't remember. It'll come to me later. I'll have to make a video about what I want to talk about, which I can't remember <laughs> for some reason. Don't go old, kids. You, your memory forgets things which you want to talk about. But uh, anyway, I um, just wanted to... Uh, oh, yeah. This is what I want to talk about. Now I remember. Oh, yeah. Just League coming out on the 17th. So what I'm going to do is i got to put in for a day off uh, at my old job. So I'm going to see it... I'm gonna, I want to see it twice. The you know, opening day on Friday and I want to go and see it again on on Saturday, and what I want to do is I want to see it in IMAX, and uh, what I want to do. No, there was something I can't remember now what I want to do. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But that's my plan. I, I want to see this thing. I think I said it on my blog too. I want to see it on the, uh, the 17. I want to see it in IMAX. I think the tickets come on sale. They said uh, this week sometime. So I want to go ahead and order my tickets. I want to get IMAX. Uh, 3D, so definitely want to see it on the big screen on IMAX in 3D. See that, and then I want to see it again after you know after I digest it, you know, because I'll probably be too pumped to, to process everything. So then I'm gonna take a break, maybe go get something to eat, and then go see another showing of it. 
minutes, and then I'll come home and do my review of it, and then go see it again on Saturday, and then I'm gonna do when I see, after I see it again on Saturday, I'm gonna then I'll do my review of it, and my I'm gonna do a spoiler review too as well, where I talk about everything, and then I'll probably be on my other channel, Paul Views and Pains. I'm gonna do a spoiler review of uh. I just like I said, I've been waiting years for this movie, and now that it's here, I'm super pumped. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to talk about too as well. I know people have been whining about it now because I, I, I think officially, unofficially, it's been listed. The runtime is 121 minutes, and I and I have to agree. I was one of the ones I wanted the movie to be as long as it can be, like three hours if it need to be, or two hours and a half, two forty, two fifty, didn't matter. Need three hours because it's just more of them characters. It didn't bother me, but. I don't mind it's, if it is truly because I haven't, we haven't heard anything official from Warner Brothers yet. I know they keep saying that the AMC theaters officially got it listed as 121 minutes, but until I hear anything from something official from Warner Brothers, I'm just going to take that as I'm going to assume it's right until I hear officially from Warner Brothers and if they say it's different, it's different. But if it's 121 minutes, I'm not going to be mad at it because I figure things going to keep moving in the movie and this is the way I figure it will play out and I oh yeah no I want to make a video about that but you know what I'll say that for later okay so anyway uh, let me know what you think of these titles feel free to leave comments down below and this is Trey Pastor saying oh yeah screw I'm sorry I have links to my Facebook my Twitter and my Instagram in the description box as well as my other channel called views and opinions the link is below please follow that channel please subscribe to that channel as well and this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care